Hi, I'm Nicolas. I'm a member of the technical support team on STM32 MCUs. And in this video on Kubemix, uh, we'll focus on the project manager tab of the Kubemix tools, and more specifically on the code generator tab. We will have uh, uh, some insight on the template setting feature by uh, doing a lab. And in this lab, we redirect the printf call to a virtual com port in the PC and display some Kubemix configuration uh, using this template uh, free marker uh, language. I will use uh, the Kubemix version 6.3, the Cube ID version 1.8, and the F4 Cube firmware. So the, the board will be the Nucleo F410RB. So let's start directly on the lab. Once Kubemix is uh, opened, uh, you go to the board selector and we will select the F410 nucleo board. So I just press F410, here there is only one, and I start the project. I will not use the default uh, initialization of peripherals. So here I open a uh, file explorer on the, the a MOOC folder that is empty for the moment. This is where I will store the project just wanted to uh, have it in parallel to show you the, co the code generation step. Uh, so here the pinout is, uh, is not clear, so I will clear using the uh, specific function. So in this lab, we want to, to redirect the printf function uh, to the usart. So all we need in this project is to enable the usart on this board and on uh, several other nucleo boards. Uh, the user is directly connected to the ST-Link on user2. The user2 is connected. So we will use the user2. This will allow us to use only one cable uh, plugged to the board, the one that is used for ST-Link. So just set it to in synchronous and keep the default settings. We will not modify the clock configuration. It's not at maximum speed, but we do not really care for this. Uh, this example, and just set the basic uh, project manager information. So the project name, and in the MOOC uh, folder, this uh, this project type it is described in another specific video, a dedicated one. So we will not uh, go uh, deep, deeper in this one, but uh, here we will select just the cube ID project and keep the generate under root. Uh, this will allow to add automatically uh, to the project uh, the file that will be generated uh, in the template settings. If you do not check that, you will have to add manually the files uh, that are generated uh, by, uh, this, um, by these options. So let's keep generate on the root. That means that it will not create a specific stn 32 kubeid folder containing the kubeid project. It will create the kubeid project uh, on the root. And let's already generate the code. So in the meantime, you can see in the user manual, so in the 1724 for the nuclear board, uh, the user communication, the user 2, is um, by default co connected to the ST-Link. So that's why we use this user 2 uh, device. So we will not open the, the kubeid project yet, uh, but you can see that my project has been, has been generated. With uh, assert, assert, oh, the, inif the initialization of the of the application and the user and the system clock, of course. So now let's review the code generator tab uh, options. The first options are on the MCU package. So these uh, will define uh, how many files you copy from the Cube firmware folder to your dedicated project. Uh, so usually you copy only the necessary lib library files. That means that your project will be stand standalone. You can zip it and send it to a, to a colleague. Uh, it will not have any dependencies on the kube firmware repository, which is a separated uh, 
uh, repository separated folder on your PC. You can also choose to do some links to these files to the Cube firmware. This can have an, an interest if maybe you are um, doing some modification on the HAL, for example, and you have several projects working on the same Cube firmware. In this case, you will uh, modify the source code of the HL, which you are totally free to, to do, and uh, keep only links to this uh, Cube firmware folder. In our case, we will copy uh, the necessary, necessary files to the, to the project. Then these are options on the generated files. So the first one is to uh, select if you want uh, to separate the configuration of each IPs in uh, separated uh, .e and .h files. We will do that, so that will it will create, uh, you can see, you will see here, for the moment, uh, the configuration is done in the main .c and the uh, HL msp .c. Using this, uh, this option, it will separate, uh, we will have a usart.c and usart.h and uh, etc. for any uh, peripheral we add. Uh, we can set an option to back up the previously generated files when they were generated. In fact, these options are quite uh, self-explaining, but I can review them anyway. Uh, keep the user code when uh, regenerating. So for that, uh, I will open the, um, the, Cube, the Cube ID project in a, in a second to show what is a user code. And delete uh, the previously generated files when, uh, when not regenerated. Uh, that means that uh, Yes, we, you will not keep uh, uh, all files if they are not relevant anymore. Uh, the, these uh, HL settings are also quite self-explaining. Uh, you can send, set all the free pins uh, as analog to optimize the power consumption. And the uh, enable full assert, uh, these options will, uh, if not enabled, in fact, the assert uh, calls uh, will, re will be replaced by uh, nothing. Uh, and if if you check it, uh, you will have some specific macros, uh, double underscore file, double underscore. And this, you have to keep in mind that these macros uh, will change your uh, binary uh, output files only if you modify the path uh, of your project, because this macros is used to 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 um, to print uh, the file where an assert occurred, and the file is an absolute path. So when you check this box, you will have real assert calls, and uh, and in this case you will modify your your binary uh, accordingly, even if you do not modify anything in your in your project. So by default uh, they are not enabled, and this is useful only for debug purpose. On a release, uh, on product uh, production, you should not use uh, assert at all. So let's open the Cubemix project, the CubeID project, and Let's see what is a user code section. So I just double click on the dot .project file and uh, here it's asking for a, a workspace. So let's go in the main.c file. This is where you have most of the user code section, but you have several uh, on many, many files, and this is what, what is called a user code section. So whatever you put in this, uh, between uh, this begin and end uh, section, this comment, will not be replaced when uh, erased when you regenerate the code. Only if this option is checked. Now, the template settings. So let's go back to the slide set. The template settings allows to process some FTL, FTL files. With these FTL files, the STM QBMX is, uh, can generate a custom code based on the uh, free marker template file. So it's a FTL extension for any uh, of the following MCU configuration. So you can view uh, the MCU peripherals that are used in the current configuration of Cubemix, you can list the parameters of those peripherals and you can also list the resources used by these peripherals in terms of GPIO or DMR requests and interrupts. The Apache Free Marker is a template engine, so usually it is used to uh, generate text output, so HTML web pages, emails, configuration files, but also source code. And it's uh, 
it's based on the on template and changing data uh, of uh, internal values of STM32 cubemix. So with this uh, this language, you are able to access uh, the cubemix configuration and set it in a C, uh, C source code. So there is a specific uh, uh, syntax to be to be used. So at the beginning, you have to, you you must have this hashtag FTL uh, uh, call. And then uh, here you will retrieve the current config. So it's the it will it, it is called DT. So this is from the Java world. And uh, you then in this DT it's uh, it's like a, a tree, a description tree. And in this DT in this DT uh, object you will have the peripheral parameters, the uh, GPIO parameters, and also the used IP. So you will then browse from this uh, this uh, DT uh, entry point uh, the list uh, of all the used IP and their specific uh, configuration. My my goal here is to create uh, two files: uh, one a C file and an H file. The C file will contain uh, the redefinition of the printf call to redirect to usart, and also a print function, a display information. Um, a board information a display function using printf and the h file will will contain the definition of the of this function to be used externally so what i want is not to create these two files at the root uh, of my uh, project but in the core uh, inc for the inc file and the core uh, src src for the source file so for that i will just first create a template folder that will contain all the FTL files that I want to process at code generation. And in this template, I will create the hierarchy, the folder hierarchy that I want, uh, where I want to uh, output my files. So I want them to be created in the core folder. And in this core folder, I will have include folder and source folder. And finally, I will create the FTL uh, files. So I will create just textual files and rename them. So in my case, it will be free marker. What is important is this syntax. So when I put underscore H, I mean that the output file will, will be called free marker example dot H. So this is the syntax of the FrameMarker template uh, language. And it's an FTL. So yes, I want to change the extension. So at the end, the processing of this uh, FTL uh, template will create a FrameMarker example .h file in the core ink folder of my project. So the same for the SRC. So the same uh, free marker example, this time it's underscore C because I want a dot C file to be created and FTL to say that it's a free marker language template. And let's now put some content inside. So for the include file, I can open with notepad. Uh, in the slide set uh, that will be provided with the video, you have the content. So um, uh, there are two versions of this. Uh, I put another version to show some uh, some string uh, uh, manipulation uh, function uh, in a free marker language, but we will use just uh, the basic version here. But it is a way to also to see how to manipulate string. It's uh, it's quite easy. There is a user manual here in the free marker. Uh, manual. You can see all the list of the functions that can be used. So in our case, we'll use the basic function for the freemarker.h. It will consist only uh, no call to a freemarker uh, function, just copy this code, uh, keep this code. So I will copy paste from the presentation and save it. So you can see there is no call to 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 any free marker function, just we will take the code, process the this code, and put it in the free marker example.h. In the free marker.c, we 
the, the code is a, a bit more complex. So we have the, the, the kind of header that I mentioned earlier. earlier. So retrieve the, the current, uh, the current definition of the, of the configuration. So definition tree. Uh, and for, uh, we will browse. So this configuration that will, there is only one element, the current configuration. And then in this uh, configuration, we will browse the, peripheral parameters, the peripheral GPIO parameters, and the, especially the used IPs. So this is to initialize the, the free marker template processor. Then we will add, uh, this is pure, uh, pure code, pure C code, to include uh, the main.h, uh, the stdio that is needed for the, to, to redefine the IO put car, put car function, which is used by the printf, and the free marker at example.h to retrieve uh, the user handle that I defined uh, in it. So here is the redefinition of the IO put car function that is used by printf, and to redirect it, uh, to transmit each character uh, through user. And finally, the, this is the print device uh, info function that I will add that will print uh, on the UART uh, some information. So the project name, the device uh, name, the device family, and also the used IP. So just copy paste this code and save. And now, so I have created my two FTL files. I have to, um, to set them in the Kubenix. So I go to the settings, uh, to the settings uh, options. I will not use the default location. I will, I will put the template uh, folder that I just uh, created. So it will be in my C MOOC folder, project folder, and here template. So one set, the tool will browse for all the FTL that are available, and it can find it can it can find two, the one uh, in core include and core SRC. So you can see that it detects detects the uh, folder hierarchy. So I will add all of them and keep the default the destination folder because it's the base folder, and I want it I want to put these two files when generated in the core folder, but then in core inc and core src. Now, let's see in the meantime what is, uh, what is done on, on the code generation. You can see here that I have no uh, free marker example file for the moment. If I press the generate code, So first, you can see that um, a user.c has been created because we, uh, we, we checked this uh, option. So it extracted uh, the user configuration from the, main, from the MSP file to put it in a separate folder. And uh, the free marker example.c has been created also. And if we go to the include file, we can see that the free marker example.h has also been created. So if we go back to the Cube IDE project, we can see that if we refresh the project, the freemarker.c is present and as well as the freemarker.h. So now uh, let's see what has been done in this, uh, in this file. Remember that we, we, we had this uh, definition and now it became, it has been replaced by the actual value. So it's not no more the project name, but uh, Nucleo uh, F410 RB uh, FTL folder, the families FTF F4, and this is the list. So this list has been browsed uh, for the activated IPs. So there is the system clock, of course, the user2, uh, the interrupt uh, vector, and the GPIO that corresponds to, to the user2. And I'll also printed uh, the, the actual address where the, that stores the, the user handle. Just a, a way to show that uh, the printf is just not only text, but you can use the, the, real, uh, the, the real format of printf, the formatting function of printf. Now let's call this function from the main function, and we will uh, show it on the, on the user. To do that, we will have to include uh, the, 
the free marker example dot h to get uh, this, uh, def this this function definition. So let's just include this into the main dot c. in the user section, of course, so it is not uh, overwritten at code generation. And then in the main, uh, after the initialization in this user section, I will add a call to this print uh, device info function. And that's it. Now I can build the project. My board is already plugged, so I will uh, launch a debug session. I can close now this file. So this is the default uh, debug configuration that is created automatically. So I will, I will set uh, keep the default settings. And it will stop at the very beginning of my project. But at this moment, the ST, uh, the, the virtual COM port is already uh, detected on the PC. So I can launch um, a COM port listener, in fact. So I will use TerraTerm in my, 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 my case. So it should be COM33. There should be an, another one that uh, is usual. And I will just modify the default configuration because the speed of my uh, user art is not uh, 9600, 9, but 115,100. And now I can just launch the application and the printf calls are redirected to, uh, to user art and I can see uh, the information on, on my board. So, this is a way to first generate some, some user-specific code, but also uh, to retrieve information, configuration, uh, from the Cubemix project directly in C code. You can find more examples on uh, how to retrieve and what uh, parameters can be retrieved in the Cubemix installation folder. You have some extra templates already available, so FTL ones, uh, these two. And in these two, you can see uh, a more complete list of all the, uh, the IP configuration and uh, IP parameters that can be retrieved. And so that's it uh, for this uh, video. Uh, I hope it was uh, clear. So the takeaway is that now you understand what the code generation panel of the Cubemix project manager uh, allows to, to uh, configure and uh, how to use the free marker templates to, to generate custom files and access uh, the board IP configuration uh, defined in the Cubemix project.